Today is January 24th. Segway actually was able to get a logistics company to come out and take the GT2 to get it repaired. Now, as you can see, it's on right now. And that's because I removed the screws and then unplugged the stem and plugged it back in. And it stays on until I power it off. I can't reliably switch it back to any of the other modes. It will only go one direction some of the time. So I think there's still an issue with this thing here, as well as probably some other modules. Everything else seems to work as normal. It's just this part. And there are no other issues with the scooter. I don't really have much mileage on it at all. I did find one issue where I had this unit paired with my other iPhone. So I think in the future, I'm just going to have to make sure I disconnect it from one iPhone and just connect it to my main iPhone. So wouldn't you know it, unit power's on and off again. It's just started working. I think it had to do with the, the recent rains and humidity, but I'm not sure. So this works and now power's on and off like normal. This is the way it should function. However, this still doesn't work properly. So I can switch it up, but I can't switch it back down. See that? I cannot switch it back down. I think the boost mode works. Yeah, the boost button works. But I, once I get up to race mode, then I cannot go back down. It just will not go back down. So I think there's definitely something wrong with the switch over here. This whole control module, maybe if they replace it, it'll be all right. As far as the charging, it's hard to say. When I had it charged, it for whatever reason, the charging is not accurate. There's definitely something wonky with battery, and I don't know about that. What I did was I called the Segway support line and it's actually pretty good. They answered it fairly quickly and I just wanted to give them some further information for the engineers to look at. And she just noted it in my notes so that when they go and take this apart and try to figure out what's going on with this, and there it goes. We'll see how long it takes for them to get something back to me. It might make sense for them to just send me a new one anyway after they get it but i really don't know what their process is so i'll keep you guys informed let you guys know what happens it'll be going to chino for those of you guys who don't know i had offered to say hey where are you guys down in la maybe i will bring the scooter down to you but they really needed to have the scooter properly go through the proper channels and have it picked up now interestingly these same guys that came and picked up my scooter picked up the same exact one someone had broke their leg riding when they hit a big pothole and they went flying, basically have metal pieces keeping his legs together. And so obviously he won't be riding his scooter much. So make sure you get good protective gear. But maybe I'll look into getting some other more protective gear other than full face helmet. Let me know if you're interested in something like that. And I'll see if I can find more details on the best stuff available, what is feasible and then make a little video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys posted.